Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. I'm a little stuffy. Please excuse my voice, but you know, it's not Rona. <laughs> Today we're making the best bohemian style chicken sauce. I say bohemian style because this may not be your authentic bohemian recipe for chicken sauce because I am from the Bahamas, but I'm also Haitian. So whatever I'm doing, I'm always going to say bohemian style if it's a popular bohemian dish because I will definitely add my Haitian twists and I guarantee you this dish is going to be so delicious. As usual, everything will be listed for you below in the description box. You can also feel free to leave a comment if you have any further questions. We're starting off with 12 chicken wings that have already been cleaned. What I do to clean my chicken wings is I put salt, about a teaspoon of salt, and I squeeze two limes over my chicken wings, or you can use a little bit of vinegar, and I bring hot boiling water right over my wings. Let that sit for about five to 10 minutes, drain it out, and your wings are ready to go. You can add whichever meat that you prefer. I prefer chicken wings. If you're going to use shrimp instead of meat, you want to add raw shrimp at the last five to 10 minutes of the cooking process, depending on the size of the shrimp. If they're medium to small, you want to add it the last five minutes. If they're large shrimp, you want to add them the last 10 minutes. If it's cooked shrimp, you just add it at the end. So our wings are ready to go. I'm also using two celery sticks chopped up, half of a medium onion, nicely sliced, two large limes, three carrots, nicely chopped, three potatoes, nicely chopped, and I'm letting them sit in cool water so that way they remain nice and white. If you chop your potatoes up and you're not using them right away, it will start to form a brownish color. If you don't want that, you just let it sit in some cool water. And of course, I'm always making a large pot, but if you're not making this for a lot of people, of course you can cut this recipe down in half. This recipe can feed about six people. I have a mixture of season that I mix together here. This is two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of adobo. This is an amazing mix right here for your sauce. I have one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm using about six bay leaves. I'm using two tablespoons of butter. And the star of the show, all spice. All spice is what gives your chicken sauce the best flavor. Now, some people don't like these little balls in their sauce, so you can use the powder form, but I find using the original balls gives you the best authentic taste. It doesn't bother me one bit, but if it does bother you to have the balls in your sauce, then of course you would use the ground or you can take them out. It's going to take you a while to do that, but you can do that if you want to. Now, this 0.5 ounce bag equals to a quarter cup. So we're starting off with putting our chicken wings in the pot. The pot is on a medium to high heat at this stage. Now, traditionally, you're supposed to cook your chicken wings or whatever meat that you're using halfway through, get rid of that water and start fresh before you put your vegetables. That way you have a very clear, clean broth. But I find that when you just clean your meat and then go from there, the chicken cells has a richer flavor. And that's what I'm going for, a rich flavor. So I'm putting in half of my seasoned mix. I'm gonna leave the other half to put it in the actual broth later on. And my black pepper, and this is going to help flavor the wings itself and not just the broth. I'm squeezing in one lime over my chicken wings at this stage. I'm adding in my allspice, all of the bag, 
and some bay leaves. I'm only adding two cups of water at this point because if you add too much water, your wings will have absolutely no flavor. So you only add just enough water so that the wings are covered, which is two cups in my case because I'm cooking with 12 wings. So you just add just enough water so that everything's covered and it boils together. And this is going to allow you to get a rich flavor in both the broth and your chicken wings. So we're going to cover this and let it cook for just about 10 minutes. Let it come to a boil. So after 10 minutes, this is what we're working with and this is exactly how it should look. The water has darkened up a little bit, but don't worry, honey. You're gonna add more water. This recipe calls for seven cups of water. So you're going to add the rest of the water at this point. After you add all of the water, now you're going to add in your vegetables. So we're putting in our carrots, our celery, half of our onions, because I always like to put a few fresh onions at the end so it's not too, too soft, okay? And it really adds flavor. I'm adding the rest of my season and I'm squeezing in the second line. Now I'm gonna let this cook for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, this is what we're working with. I'm going to add in my potatoes now. I did not add the potatoes the same time that I added all of the other vegetables because potato is going to cook a lot quicker and you don't want to have like really soft potatoes in your sauce. So that is why I'm adding my potatoes in last. You want to mix everything in, and I am cooking in a non-stick pan, so I have no problem with anything sticking at the bottom. And at this point, I am adding in my butter. After I add in my butter, I'm gonna let this cook for 20 more minutes. After 20 minutes, this is what we're working with, guys, and your sauce is all done. It is such a quick meal to make, and it's so delicious. The star of the show is allspice. You cannot make this recipe without allspice because that is what flavors your broth. You can have this for breakfast. You can have it for lunch. You can have it for dinner. It is such a quick and easy meal, and it tastes so delicious. And this is exactly how we serve it with the allspice balls in it. And, you know, when you're eating your salads, you just take them, kindly put them to the side. <laughs> I practically make this once a week or once every other week. It's definitely one of my favorite quick go-tos, especially after a long day of work. It's definitely something that you can whip up in about 40 minutes or less. Now, you can't have this chicken sauce without some Johnny bread. Let me tell y'all, this Johnny bread hair is no joke, okay? Stay tuned. The next episode will definitely be the recipe to this delicious, off the chains, Johnny bread. Thank you so much for kicking in the kitchen with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Give this recipe a try and come back and let us know in the comment section what you think of it. Is there any way that we can enhance this recipe? Is there anything that you do different? Let us know in the comment section. Love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bon appétit.